This Christmas Eve, we come to one of the most familiar parts of the well-known Christmas story. Uh, the shepherds were so familiar with this uh, part of the story. And yet its very familiarity can hide from us its real meaning, its real significance. And I use that word significance with deliberate care because right at the heart of this oh so familiar story is a sign. And it's that sign that I want you uh, this Christmas Eve to see. Uh, the story has been told by Luke, and uh, Luke is a medical doctor, and as a man of science, he is concerned with facts. Often we think that Christmas is merely a, a sentimental, um, an emotional, a, um, a peripheral, a, a surface feeling. Uh, that we like, uh, a romantic feeling, uh, sentimentality. Uh, but Luke is writing this story as a man of science, and he wants us, like the shepherds, to see this sign and to go where it leads, and as it were, to test out the hypothesis and find that it is indeed true. They, they, they discovered that what they had been told was true. They saw that it was exactly as they had been told. Well, what had they been uh, told? Uh, verse 12, this is the sign. This will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. Uh, the great angel host is gathered and as always when angels turn up, uh, there's fear. Just remove from our minds uh, once and for all any idea that angels are like fairies. Now whenever an angel appears in the Bible, the one thing is always a sense of fear, of awe. These angels appear and the shepherds are scared and yet they're told good news of great joy, a king is coming, the king, and right at the heart, how they know this is this sign, a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. Now, of course, that was an unusual thing. Uh, if you're a mother, you take care of your baby. You, you don't uh, put your baby in a feeding trough for cattle, a manger. That's what a manger was. And so it's very unusual to find that the baby has been treated, the newborn uh, has been treated this way. And yet the sign is more than simply, oh, this is really unusual, there's a baby in a, in a manger. The sign is that the great God of all, the Savior, that glory to God in the highest, as the angels would say, is in this baby, in a manger, wrapped in cloths. Could it be true? Is that really a fact, uh, Luke, the medical man, is, is, is wanting us to think it through, scientifically, if you like? Is there, in all this difficulty of this year, a solid basis for hope, for joy, for glory, a scientific basis. What is the hypothesis? What is the sign? A baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. That's what they were told. And so they go to discover whether it is really true. And what did these shepherds discover? They went and found it was exactly what they had been told. Uh, verse 16, they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. This sign was what happened. This, what they had been told, is what they then saw. 
And when they realize that, verse 17, when they saw it, that is the sign, they made known the saying, what they had been told concerning this child. And all heard it wondered. Well, why did they wonder? They, they were already there seeing the baby lying in a manger. What they were wondering at was that glory to God in the highest, good news, great joy, a king, a saving king. is in a manger. And with this sign, with this hypothesis, now being established as fact by the shepherds seeing it, then verse 20, the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them what they were told they saw the sign the hypothesis was proven to be fact he said well that's all very well but I I, I can't I can't go where the shepherds went I, 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 I don't have that opportunity I, I'm not able to follow along with this sign. I, I, haven't, I haven't had angels come and <laughs> tell me about this. You know, angels in the Bible are messengers. And the messengers in Luke's story, Luke, this Luke, gospel is the first of a two volume account of historical Christian origins, factual Christian origins. The, the messengers then in his second volume are those who are sent out to take that message to the four corners of the earth, the church. Could well be that you are surrounded by messengers. There is a sign and that sign is, is everywhere. Everywhere you go at Christmas, you see the sign. Every Christmas card, on, on all, all, all the carols, we, we sing of this wonder that the God of gods, the Lord of lords, the King of kings, loves so much that he humbled himself, became a baby to save you. And that is good news. And because of that, there is reason, solid scientific fact, reason for joy. But if you are to experience it, You need to do what the shepherds did. They, they didn't just hear the angels tell them. They went and sought in haste to discover it for themselves. And so this Christmas Eve, would you, like the shepherds, hear the message of the angels? And ask God, seek God, long plead that by his spirit he would open your eyes, soften your heart, that you might discover what the shepherds discovered, that everything you've been told that I'm telling you the great king of kings humbled himself to save all that that you are being told. Ask God, plead God that you might discover that for yourselves. This baby 
in a manger with Joseph and Mary. Glory to God in the highest and joy be yours this Christmas Eve. Amen.